Alright guys, welcome back to Stalker Soup. We're here in the Agriprom, and we are on the search for ghosts murdered. Uh, and what we did, or what I did uh, more specifically, is you talk to um, Kruglov or Semenov, depending on whether you saved Kruglov, in Yantar, and you get a little bit of a quest from him. And essentially what he says is when he saw a ghost coming through Yantar, when he met him, he was often traveling with someone who looked very, very, very similar, and they were uh, often confusing the uh, the two men. So he doesn't believe that Ghost actually died in the lab. He believes he's still out here, and what we're doing right now is trying to find his diary. As you can see up in the northernmost part of the Agriprom here is the sort of area for Ghost Diary. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, the reason why we're doing this is simply to progress more with the main sort of um, AMK quest liner. I, I don't know if it's AMK or DMX. I, I don't really know exactly what those mods, you know, include exactly. And what is this? Ooh, that is a fireball or a flame. I think that's a fireball. You can actually trade two of these for a Val over at uh, Mr. Barkeep's. So I might do that when we get back there. And I am doing this at night, so hopefully things will be a little bit more interesting than the daytime missions. Got this sweet orange sunset here. Really digging that. Uh, just let me scope ahead and make sure we don't have any dogs or anything ahead of us. Probably don't need the light right this second. And while we're here, I might want to you know, dick around with the, the military guys a little bit and just try to get some good loot off of them. Depending on how hard my ass gets kicked. I'm guessing it'll be fairly hard, but not hard enough for me to just outright quit, so... We'll try it, we'll see how it goes. Pick up a mushroom for later. Have a rave back at the bar, you know. Now, are we getting close? Uh, we overshot it by a little bit. So let me get up this little embankment. There we go. <laughs> Maybe we'll finally run into that stupid red pseudogiant uh, this time. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Is this the red pseudogiant? It is, I think. Well, this is a problem for two reasons, actually. One, I need to get over there, and two, I don't have that dart rifle on me, so I can't tag this bitch. Which is, you know, I, I don't know if I'm going to have to kill him. I might just be able to go in here and do, like, the world's greatest, you know, run in and snatch the diary. Depending on where the stupid thing is. Oh god, something sees me. Stay away, you foul beasts. Oh my, that is the most annoying thing about this mod, hands down. Oh god, <laughs> this is not good. I don't know if he's following me, and I'm like getting saturated in radiation here. My bones are crumbling as we speak. Uh, okay, killed that dog. Alright, well, we are dying, so let me take a scientific med kit here. Should do it with most of the radiation, and let's... I gotta get in and find this stupid thing. Let's just hold down F and hope we can find it. And hope. Hope and pray the pseudogiant doesn't come looking for a snack. Oh, uh, this, this diary is going to be a pain in the ass to find, isn't it? Oh, is that it in there? Yes. Okay, get the hell out. <laughs> run like you've never run before. Get away from the pseudo giant. Oh, I think he was. Oh god. What? Uh, what? I got shot? How did that happen? Okay, um. I guess when we picked up the diary, some dick spawned and, you know, shot me. That would make the most sense, but maybe I'd, there was someone over there that I just didn't see. Although I have a feeling he would have been fighting the pseudo giant and the like dozen dogs that were over there. Okay. Oh, we got the. It auto saved. It auto saved. 
That's what was seeing me. Alright, let's quick save down here. Turn our light off and try and uh, nail this guy. I don't know where he left to. He's right somewhere down here. Shit. Okay, you know what? I at least need some kind of scope for this. Oh, and I should also note I bought uh, Freeman's Desert Eagle. This thing's just such a cool looking weapon, I couldn't pass it up. Except for the scope that just washes everything out. That's, you know, a little less than ideal. Okay, seriously, I'm just gonna start spraying here. I've got the ammo to do it, so why not? Well, you know, I, I suppose you could probably list at least a dozen reasons why I shouldn't do that. Die! Jeez! These guys are going all Matrix here, dodging my bullets. Oh, did he bleed out or something? I think they're dead. But I don't really want to stay around here, because the Pseudo-Giant could still... Or maybe he got killed by the band. I don't I don't know what's going on right. Okay, we're going. We're going. Rats, goodbye. Not gonna deal with you. You ain't getting any of my time. The military guys, however, I might consider fighting them. Like I said. We've got the cover of the darkness here. Which uh is sort of a pro and mainly a con. <laughs> Uh, you know, on the, on the flip, on the upside, I mean, we are gonna be more hidden than usual. But on the downside, I can't see a goddamn thing without using my flashlight, and that's just like an instant giveaway. Kind of want to go over to Adrenaline here, see what kind of goods he can offer. I really wish you could get up to this thing. Is that just a... yeah, that's just a spatial anomaly, that's not a teleport anomaly. I think someone pointed that out in the comments when I first mistook that thing, but you know, why is it even up there? There's gotta be a reason, and I'm way too curious to just leave well enough alone. Okay, Adrenaline, I know you've got a quest for us, but I'm not... you know, I can't be bothered, so what do you have? 8.6 by 70. TRG41. Uh, I don't have that, so... Goodbye. Have fun watching. How do you get cable here? Seriously. Or is this like a DVD? You're watching Pixar? Man, get your life to get... You're watching like Pixar slash softcore pornography slash Chernobyl documentary. I don't, I don't even know what to say to that. Like, where would you possibly get a DVD that had all three of those things on it? Just in a continuous loop for like 12 hours a day. The zone is a strange place. Maybe someone like left three separate DVDs out and then when the you know an anomaly came and formed it sort of like melded them together into one, you know, compilation of weirdness. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. 701. That's a familiar area code. Actually, oh god. Quick save cuz I'm a pussy. And I should be turning my light off. Okay, I'm gonna get killed here. <laughs> I might as well get behind something. Oh god, grenade. Ow, that hurts so bad. Why'd you guys do that? That's cheap. Even though I would have done the same to you if I had any freaking grenades. Okay. Please just... yeah, move up. He's right around the fence. Just need him to come around this corner and all will be well in the universe for me. If I can shoot fast enough, that is. I'm getting like this weird echo, I don't know if you guys are hearing that. Wow, you had like the perfect opportunity to kill me there and you totally botched it. Wow, what a dumb bandit. Okay, um... 
this is a problem. See, I don't, I don't really have the best equipment to deal with this kind of situation. I would, oh my god, I didn't want to use a med kit. Game, it's, I just, I can't see jack shit here. Or, I rather, I can see jack shit. He's right over there. First name Jack, second name Shit. Oh my god. Okay, uh... We are gonna take this thing out. Run across the other side of the fence. Yee! And then... Try and take them out from this side. I don't know what advantage this gives me, but I'm trying it. Uh, that echo is really annoying, too. Alright, just duck behind cover every time they... Alright, we killed them dead. At least one of them. Now where's this other dirtbag? Dirtbag McGee. Seriously don't? Okay. Uh, see over here? <laughs> Is he over here? Bam, dead. Well, that answers my question, at least. Yes, he was over there. I'd like to know what the hell these bandits are doing over here. All the way in the agri-prom. Oh, I thought I had my amp on for a second there. I was gonna say, that might be causing some feedback or something in the audio. Might be what this little... I doubt it. I don't, I don't know anything about audio like that, but I doubt that's possible. Oh my god, this guy's kicking my ass. How do I keep letting this happen? I'm being impatient. I'm not doing this tactically. I'm just walking out into the middle of a field and getting shot when I pop out from behind a tree. He's, he's got like the perfect position there to be hidden until I walk around. Okay, this time things will go differently. Mark my words. Yeah, we killed him there. Okay. So these guys have been dealt with. Ooh, nice pose. I like that. Okay. Just kidding. I, I don't really like that. I'm not interested in the AK-47s, really. Uh, I think I've got one in my stash. Lots of artifacts, though, which is going to be useful since we have to cook up uh, an artifact to give to the barkeep, I believe? The Symbion Artifact, which is just a, like, three very cheap artifacts put together into a fruit punch. Which we should be able to find, if not right in the bar, or the outskirts of the bar, we should be able to find one no problem. Uh, in the Wild Territory! Jesus! Run! I hate you! I hate you so much, dog! Take some... 50 AE right through your stupid face. And if, this thing has terrible accuracy. This is very effective, isn't it? <laughs> I could be a stormtrooper with this aim. Oh my god, stop with it. Please, just cut it out. God, I'm like at critical head brain damage. It's, it's, a, it's so bad, it's affecting me in real life. See, that's... Oh my goodness. All from one lousy dog. Where'd my rifle go? I'm not leaving here without the rifle, so you can forget about that. I think it might be over here. Yeah, there it is. Oh my goodness, this is irritating. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I, there's no chance I'm going over anywhere near that military barracks with my screen this fucked up. So, let's go back to the main institute here. Go back up to see Adrenaline, wherever I can get up to him from. And then we'll sleep next to him. Whisper sweet nothings in his ear while he sleeps. And then, oh god, I'm getting shot at. I'm getting shot up by military dicks now. This day could not get any worse. Okay, protect me, adrenaline. Oh god, what was that? 
Okay, we're saving it here. I don't trust anything about this place. And I want to sleep for... Let's sleep until 12. What the shit is happening here? Ow! That one was for real this time. Okay, I don't like this situation at all. And I would prefer it if I didn't have to deal with this right now. I would like really, really prefer that. Okay, zombie, no. You know what? It didn't work the first time. It's not gonna work this time. You're a little too close for comfort there, buddy. There's a bloodsucker coming up the stairs. Okay. Adrenaline, just don't get yourself killed, please. Luckily, I have the most powerful rifle on the the earth. So these... Okay, where did Adrenaline go? I, I don't... Okay, I think this is the... The, the much-vaunted zombie wave. Great timing, right? I'm getting a major echo here. Okay, dude, look, I already, like, blew your head in. Just please die. Think you're gonna, like, pull a fast one on me and... Get up before I, I see you doing that, getting up? I, I, I can't even talk. What the hell is going on here? I'm gonna have a seizure because of this screen. Not to joke about seizures, they're very serious things, but... Oh god, okay. So that's over. Not a moment too soon, either. Now where the hell did Adrenaline go? Did he just die, or something? Oh god damn it. You stupid fuck. Ugh. And I, I can't have this happen. Because he's a quest giver, so I could risk, like, totally messing up my game if I let this, you know, stay this way. We'll be back. By the way, you know, if I forget to cut this out later, then, uh, hey, what's up? I forgot it. You know, yell at me in the comments please. Okay, this time, Adrenaline cannot die. We are his protector. Our brain da his brain damaged protector. God, okay, um, let's sleep an hour again. Hopefully this zombie wave happens the same. Oh, okay, we don't get a zombie wave this time. Well, you know what? I'm fine with that too, so that is perfectly fine in my books. <laughs> As long as it doesn't happen in, like, the worst possible place. Okay, you have fun watching whatever the hell that is. And I will go out and fight for justice in the zone. Or something. Or I could just fall downstairs. Yep. Still getting a weird echo. I'm sorry about that. I mean, it, I, don't, I don't know what's causing it was happening before I started recording, so if any of you guys know what the hell this is, then feel free to, to let me in, because I have no idea. Could be something with my audio setup that's just wrong, or... I, I don't even want to guess, because I have... Okay. Well, I guess we slept like an extra two minutes before. If this is the same zombie wave, then I gotta get back to adrenaline here. Because he's... and now it's daytime. That's awesome. Except it's not really daytime, it's just gonna change, you know, day-night cycles again as soon as this is over. Alright, Adrenaline. I hope you have another place for a, a lonely stalker. We're gonna wait this storm out together. You know, this doesn't look like a very... blowout-proof location here. No offense, but... How have you survived this long, standing, like, with your head and back up against a windowless sort of frame here? How has someone just not shot you in the back of the head and come stolen all of your crap? Not, not to give anyone any ideas, because that would be incredibly easy to do. 
And considering he doesn't have the invulnerability of unexterminatable, then he can't be that important for the main quest. So you're lucky I'm letting you live today. Okay. Looks like this is just a normal blowout. It's not that stupid zombie bullshit again. So it's just the typical waiting game. Until I bleed for no reason whatsoever. These apparitions are more annoying than anything at this point. I can't remember a more memorable scene than uh, X10 when these things were coming at you hard and fast. But now, when they happen every blow, it's kind of just, you know, you know, get out of my face, strange apparitions. Alright, let's just climb this ladder. Go say hello to the military guys over here for some reason. I guess I have a death wish. That's the only way I can explain this or justify it. But whatever, I said I'd do it, so here we are. <laughs> I'm going to take on the entire... Ukrainian military, apparently, that's posted in the zone here, because I have nothing... Oh god. It's rats! Hate these guys. Oh my goodness. The problem with these rat things... Not Tushkano, but the, the actual, like, rats, is... They count as an enemy, even though they rarely attack you unless there's a horde of them. And they, they make your detection meter go up, so if you're near any other enemies, you don't know if it's just the stupid rat that's not going to attack you that's seeing you, or if it's an actual enemy that poses a, a threat, as opposed to an enemy that does not pose a threat, like the rat, per se. Okay, I'm just rambling at this point, and I don't have night vision, so the chances of me actually being able to see anything are slim to none. God, that's dark. Okay, we're gonna try this regardless. Take out the 417 here. And... How much you wanna bet as soon as I shoot one of these guys, the entire base is gonna come after me. You know, I would shoot one, but... Okay, <laughs> thanks game, just crash, that's swell. Uh, and we are back from the Windows desktop, and for some reason... I'm back here where this stupid Psy dog was harassing me, and this time I just shot him once with the Deagle and it was all over. So I guess that's a positive outcome. I mean, sort of. <laughs> I'm not gonna deal with those mil- I, I can't see the military guys well enough. They can see me well before I can see them, and that kind of makes it Oh, you know what? I, I feel bad for just leaving these guys unkilled. Oh god, okay. I almost ran into that. It's just begging to be ran into for some reason. I can't explain it, but... Yeah, you know, I can't be the only one who just sees something like this on the ground and wants to run into it. Okay. Just uh, take a breather. That was That was a close call there. Barely escaped that with my life. Now, we at least know where that pseudo-giant is, if that is in fact the red one, so I suppose what we could do is go back to the bar. Um, I am not... Where the hell am I facing? Sort of the right way. Anyway, what I was saying is we could go back to the bar, uh, pick up the Eglamet rifle, or whatever that thing's called, the one that shoots the darts at the pseudo-giant and then gives the the coordinates to the, 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 what am I saying, the, the clear sky hunters. That's right. Or we could just try and kill these military guys, go back, uh, cook up a symbion artifact, and be done with it. I don't know. It's up in the air still. I don't know what I'm gonna do. And I guess we can try and, okay, this is not working. Our detection meter is slowly climbing. Okay, it's, it's leveled out now. Oh, it might even be going down. Okay, there we go. Let's just lay prone. Oh, it's going back up again. Okay. Just leave me alone. I'm not here to fight. I'm just slithering my way across the ground. 
Is there anyone in this watchtower? I, I can't tell unless I don't look through the scope. Oh god. Okay. Careful now. You've come all this way, you don't want to just blow it by being a, a dummy. Uh, okay, we are going to get shot at any second here. Run! <laughs> Screw that. Okay. Mmm, we're putting this on. Getting up in their faces. Knocking some heads together here. Or at least, hopefully, knocking some heads together. Okay, there's a guy... Up in that guard tower. I... Oh, no, no, no! Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> yep, he's up in the guard tower. He's dead. And now we have the entire military chasing after us. Because we have blood on our hands now. Wonderful. Okay. We're going to do some advanced tactics here. Watch this, people. This is going to blow your minds. See, we flank to the other side. Now we I now I now now we go to the other side here because there's way too many freaking military guys over there. Okay. This is sort of working in a comically weird way. I I don't I don't know how to describe this tactic other than stupid, but it's sort of working. So I guess that's a bonus. Is that a okay, this is this is the advanced spray and pray tactic. It's called peppering everything in your vicinity with 7.62 millimeter ammunition and then getting shot in the face and having your brains fly out the back of your head just like that. It's a really good tactic if you don't value your life. Okay, we're gonna do this differently this time. And by differently, I mean exactly the same, except hopefully successfully. Although I doubt it's going to work out the way I'm hoping. But, you know, we can try. With hope in our hearts, we can, we can try and take these guys out. You know, it would really help if I had some grenades, but... Oh god. Okay, now they're just going to fucking kill me on sight. Uh... Great. Um... Let's go back over to the other side, and maybe if we use our light, we'll be able to see them a bit better. I understand it sort of makes our cover almost pointless, because they'll be able to see us wherever we are, but... I can't see what I can't... I can't shoot what I can't see, is what I'm trying to say here. So anything that increases my visibility is worth the risk of being seen. Okay, we're going to save over here. What are the chances I actually pull this off? Okay, well... That guy walked into my bullets, so he's like a free kill, but... I'll take it. I've not been known to, to turn down a free kill in a video game. By the way, uh, some of you Russian speakers, could you translate what these guys are saying? Like that, that last voice dialogue. I hear that one so often with the military guys. I'm sure it's just some kind of generic threat, but it'd be nice to know exactly what they're going on about. No, I understand they're pissed, but... Oh god! I am terrible at this game, and I should be ashamed of myself, but I'm having way too damn much fun watching myself die here. <laughs> uh, there's just something hilarious about these people soup or stalker soup deaths. They just come so fast, out of nowhere. Just, oh, I'm alive, shooting people, and then dead. Instantly. No warning. No anything, just... Okay. This guy's around the corner here. 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh, apparently they have just laser accuracy, which... If there's any faction in the zone to have laser accuracy, it makes sense that it would be the military. Probably the best equipped, so... I can't really complain about that. Who am I kidding? I, I definitely can complain about that. Whether I should is a whole nother story. Okay. Other side. This, mark my words, will go better. That should have been a headshot, but it wasn't. I really should have better aim. <laughs> okay, here, we're gonna do the, the, the quick save after every kill, you know, tactic here. Oh my god! Talk about aimbot. What, there were three of them there? I only saw one. Okay, well, at least I know they were lined up. Sorry if this is incredibly tedious, but uh, as soon as I kill these guys on the perimeter, I think this will be at least somewhat more entertaining. Hopefully. <laughs> or I could just continuously die and have to edit this this all out, but... You know, we'll cross that bridge when uh, we come to it. And I killed absolutely no one, and that's surprising to absolutely no one. Is there someone up there? You know, I really wish I had some grenades right about now. Kinda thought that was a guy. Okay, they've got high RPM weapons here. I'm really paranoid. <laughs> Okay, kill save. That's totally the legit way of playing this game. Run behind the truck. Get down underneath the truck. Run out of the compound like a little baby and have them shoot each other. <laughs> oh, they just shot their teammate in the back of the head. That was priceless. Okay, do you have any grenades on you? No, but you got some really valuable loot. And of course, I just... Wow, this is not going well. Maybe if I put the... You know, even if I put the scope on, it's not like that really helps me a lot, considering I don't have the reaction times necessary to take these guys out on time. They just shoot me so quickly. Uh, maybe a little bit of a buggy AI... This didn't used to happen. Okay, well that was a good start. Just gotta wait for this other guy to come out. There we go. See, I gotta be like this on top of my game. Let's reload. Get a fresh mag in there. I'm using up a surprising amount of ammunition here. Which is not really a good thing. Okay, oh, we can totally sneak through that window. Look at that, like a boss. And that guy went down hard. <laughs> I'm honestly surprised you didn't get the chance to kill me. That's the voice line I want to know what they're saying. Okay, we're making a break for it. Oh god, okay. This is such a fantastically... I'm not even doing that. That's just gonna get me freaking killed instantly. Run in the box. This is the best cover in the world. Random open shipping containers. Take that! That did nothing, but, you know. Maybe it'll attract their attention. It, it didn't do anything. Wow, we actually shot that guy. <laughs> I almost can't believe it, and we are out of bandages. Or my hot my hotkeys just got fucked up. That's that's the problem here. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna let my uh, wounds heal here for a moment. 
Okay, so that's where I need to be watching. Run into the building. Okay, this building has far too many windows. This is making me really not too too happy, honestly. Okay, where's my loophole scope? There it is. Ouch, my face just got blown away by a guy in an exosuit. Such is life in the zone, etc, etc, etc. Let's just move on, shall we? It's not even worth commenting when I die anymore. Like mo most Let's Players, when they die, they, they make a big deal about it. Because it doesn't happen that often, but... I guess I shouldn't really blame myself entirely for these deaths, because this is a extremely hard mod by most people's standards. This scope might actually be quite useful. Couldn't tell if that was a guy there. And there's a train going by. Choo-choo. It's like right beside my place here. Okay. I don't want to risk this entrance anymore, so get down on the ground. Nope. Nope. No chance. You guys can die in a fire. Okay. Fucking boom. That's what I like to see. Now... There were some guys over by the entrance there. You know, I think it might be time for us to push up. I don't see anybody coming out of this building. Looks fairly clear that way. Okay, what we're going to do, take the scope off of this rifle. Yes, dismount scope. Now we're going to make a mad dash. Oh my god. Okay. I just pissed my pants a little bit. Okay. Oh my god. This, this mod is not good for my health. And it's not that it's incredibly scary even, it's just that it's really intense when you get into combat. And this isn't, you know, a game that I would call Dark Souls difficulty, because it's a different type of difficulty than a game like Dark Souls. Even though I haven't really played a whole lot of Dark Souls. I'm not like an authority on Dark Souls, so don't quote me on anything there. But this game is, I mean, you've got spectacular power. Your shots do a ton of damage and can one-shot most enemies, but uh, that also applies to you. Enemies have the same weapons that do the same amount of damage, and you have the same amount of health as them. So all you have as a real advantage is your wit. Your ability to outsmart the computer. That's pretty much all you've got going for you. Run, 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 run! Okay, <laughs> I saw that guy. Just in time. Oh, he wasn't even in this building. He's just on the outskirts. Okay, well, get ready to get murdered, pal. That applies. How did you not die? I shot you in the forearm, like, three times. Which is enough to kill me, like, every time, guaranteed. Where is this guy? Thank you for dying. Oh god, I'm getting caught up on trees. This is a really bad spot to be stuck in. So I'm gonna get behind something and save it. I've killed a lot of people so far. That's... I'm not doing quite as badly as I was before. It's been about two and a half minutes since I've last died. Okay. Oh god. Bruh! Oh, that was so lucky. I should have been killed there. I really should have. This thing's almost got too much zoom on it. Okay, turn. Turn the light off. Where is this freaking guy? Okay, you know what's gonna happen here? 
We are going to put the scope on this rifle, wherever it is. There we go. Put scope on rifle. And then spray this guy down like he's a dirty car at a car wash. That didn't do anything. Seriously. I had to have killed him there. I had to. Okay. I saw some blood spurt out, so I'm assuming that was a, a good shot. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe he just went behind cover. That guy definitely died. Okay, we're, we're sneaking in a window here. That's good. Now, I want to take the scope off of this, because we are in close quarters now. Save it again, just to be sure. Don't want to be reloading this a thousand times. Okay, someone's down around here. I don't know why. I don't really want that. Okay, we're going to the second floor here. Wish me luck, I'm gonna need it. These guys... The only real chance I have against the reaction times on these guys is the... The sort of distance I can put between myself and them that'll allow them to miss more often. Because they almost always get the first shot. And if I'm close up, the first shot is the killing shot. <laughs> okay. Looks like we're clear of this area. That box is empty. Probably shouldn't have shot just because uh, it wasn't the stealthiest thing I could have done there. Okay. So we're going up to the top floor where this guy is presumably wounded. You scumbag. I'll be back for you. I will be back for you. Watch him heal himself and then just get up and murder me. That would serve me right for sparing him. Is that an explosive barrel? Yes. Don't even ask me why I did that. You know why I did that. I had to. It was almost like a contractual obligation at that point. A bunch of breakable boxes stacked around an explosive barrel. That's... I mean, come on. Do I really have to explain this? Okay, Desert Eagle time. And we got another explosive barrel here. This one's one of the ones you can pick up. You know what? I'm, I'm actually enjoying this. Coming here was a good idea, I think. Now, this guy's going to get uh, a quick death. Let's just say that. Oh, that probably scared the shit out of us. There we go, okay. Sorry sorry about missing the first one. I'm sure that was not pleasant for you. And back to getting single boxes of ammunition here. Maybe that uh, ammo setting resets. I, I don't know. I don't know why exactly I'm getting so little ammo from these. Okay, let's look over here. Everyone's dead. Let's go looting. Might want to keep some kind of gun out just in case I get caught off guard here. Which is very, very possible. I, I love the way the screen sort of recoils with this gun. I love that. I don't know why I love it so much, but it's just so satisfying. I can't remember if there's anything in here. I don't think there was. Nope. So essentially all we've gotten so far is a couple of worthless artifacts, two army medkits, and not much else. Maybe like three rounds of 545. Nothing to write home about so far, but hopefully that'll all change once we can loot these guys over here. I know for a fact there were a bunch of exosuit dudes, so... That's a non-explosive barrel. That is an explosive barrel. Oh yeah. 
Just for shits and giggles, that's what that was for. Alright, we're getting some grenades, some pseudo dog tails. I don't know why I'm taking those, considering how many I have already. This guy... all these guys have avocans, which definitely makes sense, considering they are army... or military personnel. Standard issue. I, I don't... that's not standard issue, don't get me wrong. I, I, I don't know what standard issue is. I don't think it's the AN-94. In fact, I think that's a fairly rare... a rarely deployed weapon in real life, but... You know what I'm saying, they've got like the, the AN-94s, the AK-40s, or AK-74s, and... What's the other one? The AEK-971? Yeah, that's an AEK. You know what, I'll, I'll try this again. It's been a long time since I've used this weapon, and I just, I didn't dig the, the animations on it. I found them to be quite poor. Yeah, they're still not good. But more so than that, I just... It wasn't really all that accurate. It's sort of a spray and pray type weapon, which is exactly the opposite of how it should be. But, whatever. Okay, where is this guy? There he is. Again, just more of the same. We are a 1 RU. Wow, that guy was poor. Military salary isn't giving him a whole lot to live on. Oh, we got a bit of a problem here. I know how to fix this, though. <laughs> oh, I love it. That is great. That is so great. God, I love this game. Okay. Oh, I've had my fun now. Let's get to actually finishing up looting these guys. Oh, that was so good. And my phone is ringing. You can call back later. I'll talk to you later. Um, more grenades. Can definitely use those. Yeah, here's the droplet. I saw that on the first guy I looted, and I assumed the loot was going to be pretty solid from then on. I haven't been so impressed with it so far, though. Let's go to the other side here. Man, there's so many explosive barrels, I love it. Like a kid in a candy shop. I almost thought it was Fallout for a second, I was waiting for the giant mushroom cloud to erupt over that truck. Even though all gas that was in it once would probably be all but evaporated now. I, I always found that hilarious, how you could shoot cars and fall out like hundreds of years after uh, they had been used and they still had enough gas to create like this monumental mini nuke style explosion that killed anything within like 30 feet of it. Yes I know phone I have a message I got it no need to yell at me. I should take a closer look at that scat 9 suit it might be pretty solid. And that's not the one. Where's the... did I pick that up, actually? No, I didn't. Uh, we'll find it in a second here. Oh, that guy had no ammo on him. At least I'm getting money from this. Let's see, army bulletproof vest. Army bulletproof vest. Was it this guy back here? Yeah, it was. Okay, so impact plus 40, impact plus 25... Where's our bulletproof pla Yeah, I, I don't even know why I'm wearing this. Let's swap that out with the military suit right now. There we go. Let's see how this looks. Exactly the same as it did on him. And we're aiming in the sky now. Okay. For those of you who are unsure about how to do that little third person thing, you just gotta go into your options, find the third person camera options and map them to a key. You won't be able to do it by default, I don't think. Alright, so that was actually somewhat successful. We got a bit of good loot out of them. I'm sure there's some stashed locations in there that I'm missing, but I don't want to spend two hours looking around for them. And I think this guy's non-hostile. But I will approach with caution just in case he's... Oh, he's dead. Who are you? You... you Lieutenant... Polyannon, is this guy... Oh, 
You're not important to me. Goodbye, sir. And of course, you don't have the medkits on you anymore. What, did you use them in the split second of life you had left in you? Okay. So let's get back to the bar. And... We're getting some dialogue in the side chat here. A side chat. The random NPC banter, rather. Okay, I know there was a rat around here. And it is going to be my sole mission to kill it. Come out, come out, wherever... Oh, there you are. You little bastard. Get out here. You're not escaping this, you know? It's not happening today. Had enough of you stupid rats thinking you own the place. Hiding under this tree. Is this your little fort, rat? I give it about, like, two minutes before... Done. Okay, stupid Tushkano. Worse than rats. Although barely. And we are shooting the gas canister because I love explosions. <laughs> it's kind of a cheesy looking explosion there, but okay. I want to run into that. Let's just get back to the portal. I'm done with this place. I'm done with it, I tells you. I don't know why these barrels seem to be only placed beside vehicles. Watch there be one beside this bus. Nope. Nothing there. Now what happened to that helicopter that landed here? I don't even know what mission that was from. Ah, shit. <laughs> Super accurate fire there. Wow, I actually hit him? You serious? Okay, and apparently uh, someone shot a silenced bullet right through my heart there. Even though I have a much better suit than I used to. Oh, I guess I can't complain. This mod is, is not finished by any means. Still got a lot of work in my opinion on the, the balance of the weapons because the... I mean, it's okay to die in one shot in certain circumstances, but it seems like it happens more often than it really should. But I don't think uh, any work has really been done on balancing the weapons past, you know, what they were originally balanced to, so I don't blame anyone for that. It's just part of the process, I suppose. It's not like I have any know-how in how to make a decent mod. Okay, we're going to put this thing on get up close to him and blow him to the moon is that both of them <laughs> nope all right what did you have on you punk black leather coat you had like a you had a val there didn't you you little bastard where'd you get that where did you get your hands on a rifle of that caliber the expert shaft. It's like a porno star name. Okay, uh, these are in really good condition. Wow, okay. Thank you, bandits. I will take it. Was gonna give uh, the barkeep two uh, fireballs for one of these, but now I don't have to. Thanks to you two dirtbags. Okay, back in the bar area, Rostock. Whatever, uh, I skipped the garbage because nothing of value happened there. <laughs> I didn't come across a single enemy and I didn't, I just didn't do anything. It's just a level to run through. I don't think there's really anything left to do in the garbage at this point, aside from maybe fight an occasional rogue bandit when he come through. So no point in me including that. It's just going to be boring. I am really loving this uh, weapon though, I was shooting it a little bit in the, the garbage, just testing it out. And I love the fire rate. Ow. Whoops, did not mean to pause it there. Oh my god, not these guys again. You know what? These rats have been good to me. They rarely attack me, so you know I'll, I'll give them the courtesy of letting them live. For now. You know what? That's just been revoked. 
Anyway, what I was saying about this uh, expert shaft... <laughs> I can't help but just giggle a little bit when I say that. It's just such an absurd name. Okay, we got a fruit punch here too, so uh, let me open up my transmutation device thingy. That is a military PDA. You can't blame me for mistaking them. Okay, now we are... we're looking for... this. Medusa Thorn. Great. Uh, I could have sworn we had a thorn. Is this... I'm confused here. What can we and... No, no, no. Get... Get out of my, uh... My inventory space here. What is this? I don't know what that is. I don't know what it is, game. That is the Symbion, I believe. Okay, you know, before I go any further here, I'm actually going to Electro Porcupine so it doesn't name this one. No components found. Aspic? Is that what the... Okay, I, I don't know what's going on here. That's a fruit punch. There's no Aspic near me. I don't know what you're talking about, game. Let us check the PDA encyclopedia. Recipe Symbion. The unique modification Symbion gives us wear a rather good screen for psi radiation. What do we need for this? An artifact produced by transmutation in the joint anomaly fruit punch with just four artifacts, Medusa drops, stone, blood, and thorn. Okay, so I need a Medusa. Do Can I make one of those? Medusa, not in here. What about in the other artifacts? Stone flower. Moonlight, gravel, barb from... What's an aspic? I don't, I don't get it. Fruit punch is the aspic. Okay. Probably just some kind of lost in translation issue here. So I need to go get a Medusa. I might have one in my artifact stash, but I don't recall... I, I thought I had one here. Do I have to have them out of my... Um, off of my person? And I could have swore we had a stone. Or a thorn, not a stone. St oh, that's a Kolobok. Okay, maybe we don't. That's a flash. Okay, well, let's go back to our stash. Flash and stash. That's a excellent rhyme there. Proud of myself for that one. It was totally intentional. Let's go back to our stash and try and find these artifacts. See if we have them. I don't think they're that rare, so we shouldn't have too much of a problem finding them, but that's not really something I want to have to deal with, so I might just spawn them in. And if I'm doing that, I might as well just spawn in the Symbion, but you know, we'll, we'll try this first. I, oh my god, okay. You just please stop with that. It was old like the second time you said it now. Uh, what was I? I completely forgot what I was saying. <laughs> I was just sort of remarking on how I don't want to have to do anything over, you know, how it is. Crystal Thorn, is that what I need? I think so. Medusa, Snork's Foot, where is the Medusa? Come on, I've got to have one Medusa. No, that, that this is the Thorn. Uh, embryo, Dummy... Sparkler, Stoneflower, Slime, Flash, Gravy, Quirk. Damn, looks like I might have sold it. What about in this stash? Nope, maybe Barkeep still has one, because if I sold it, I'm fairly sure it would have been, you know, sold to him. Oh, I've almost got everything here. Just need one Medusa. And we will be good to go. Barkeep, I need you for a second. No, you don't have any artifacts. Your inventory changes every time you reload the game. So, you know what? I don't really want to deal with finding a Medusa, so let me just spawn it in. If you have a problem with that, then, you know... What can I say? It's, it's a game, and I'm playing it for your amusement. And don't take it so serious-like. Alright, let's find this. Uh, where are we going? Artifacts. Medusa. Here we go. Formed on the springboard, obviously. Ow, that hurt. Okay, so let's go back to the fruit punch. 
put these in. I'm I'm not spawning in the symbion because you know we were only lacking one ingredient. I think it would be uh, foolish of me to spawn the whole thing, and I might get a lot of um, you know ill will by doing that. So let's go do this instead. It's almost morning, actually. 404. Code not found. There's the... I can't... Arrow, what is it? 404... Website not found? 404... I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about here. Okay, so now... There we go. Five hours cooking time. We will click the output button. And we should have no more... Or one less... Yeah, yeah, they're all in there. So let's go back to a safe place to sleep for five hours and then go pick that up, give it to the barkeep. Now let me just read the guide here for a second. It says, um, talk to Kruglov, get Ghost Diary, bring it to Kruglov, and then speak to the bartender. So I still need to go speak to Kruglov, which I will do after I can sleep the night and get this artifact made. Actually, enough time might pass by the time I get this uh, business done with Kruglov that it might just be done without me sleeping. Get out of here, so let's do it that way, shall we? I could go stash some items since I'm a little bit on the heavy side, but when have I ever been known to do that? Let's just deal with it. I don't know when the weight uh, carry capacity was up to 150 by default. Must have been in one of the new patches, because uh, it used to be 100. Which was legitimately, you know, I thought quite excessive. I mean, that makes sense if you're like uh, wearing an exosuit or something, but... When you're wearing nothing, a uh, carry weight capacity of 100 kilos seems like a really high number. Now that it's 150, I, I don't know, man, that's a little too much. Alright, so here we are back in Yantar. Again, I just cut out the wild territory because nothing happened aside from me getting killed by a burner anomaly and having to dodge and weave between anomalies trying to get uh, to the portal here. But we made it safe and sound, relatively, I guess. I don't know why this guy's still here. Why did I do that? I should have known. Well, at least it didn't just kill us like the other times where it just puts all of your brain damage and radiation to like the the worst possible maximum. Uh, having trouble with your boss again there, crew love? Alright, I have found it. There the diary was. It was painfully healthy so to read written difficult enough the only thing here in one place about any person is told you will find it in warehouses near the base of freedom. That was a broken sentence and a half. <laughs> Give to me, I esteem, aha, and truth to understand nothing. Listen, marked one. You, while descend in the bar, ask, and I took over the diary. Can and I can to read more. Wow, okay. Machine translated and a half here. It is fine, and most in bar, it is necessary to me to barman business is. Besides, to buy something, it would be advisable. I hope you can understand that to what... Okay, so uh, what I got from that was absolutely nothing, but what I got from the guide was to take this back to the barkeep. Um, ooh, you got some goodies stocked. I'm really looking for a good pistol. It seems like for some reason barkeep has stopped stocking them, and I don't want to go all the way back to Sidorovich. His fat ass doesn't deserve my business. And I don't have anything in here. No, I've, I've got this Beretta, but it's been used already and I'm not all that excited about it. That's kind of why I bought this, but I'd rather have something more practical. I mean, this thing's fine and everything, but aiming it is a bit of a nightmare. Sorry about that, that was a real dick move, but uh, just playing around. I, w I wanted to see if the bullet spread was high enough that it would actually shoot him. But no, it, it didn't. And I really shouldn't have done that without saving first, but I guess uh, I guess I can't do anything about that now. And I think right now uh, I've been recording for an hour and 15 minutes, probably about 50 minutes of which you will be seeing on YouTube. That hurt. 
That hurt really bad. But uh, I'm going to end it here. It seems like a good place as any to end it. Right on top of a mine. Uh, let me just heal up here. And you know, if I saved it right here and I entered the game again, I bet you I'd get blown up as soon as I spawned in. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to save it here and say goodbye. I will see you next time.